Okay, so yesterday we identified polynomials and we added them and subtracted them. Today we're going to multiply polynomials. Multiplying polynomials involves something that you guys should have learned last year, which is how to multiply variables with exponents. Um, uh, all you do if you're multiplying variables that have exponents, you add the exponents. Okay, so let's review a little bit. Um, so the first thing you do when it says simplify is to distribute. Since distributing involves multiplication, you're going to add the exponents. Then, after that, you're going to combine like terms. Remember yesterday when we combined all those like terms, we didn't change the exponents. So now we're still not going to. So when you combine like terms, you don't change the exponents. Password is Kaylee. Okay, let's review by doing this first problem here. What I'm going to write in blue is just the thought process that, that you should go through when you're doing this. Um, remember, since all of this is um, being multiplied, it's 5 times x squared times y, and then we're multiplying that by 3 times x times y, um, I can do this in any order I want to. So I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to put the coefficients together multiplying. I'm going to put the x's together multiplying, and I'm going to put the y's together multiplying. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put these understood exponents of 1 in there. So let's go ahead and multiply here. 5 times 3 is 15. Then when I multiply x squared times x, I add those exponents and get x cubed. And y times y, those multiply to get the exponents add to get 2. And then let me review you real quick on why you add the exponents. If I had x cubed times x squared, I could rewrite x cubed as x times x times x, because that's what an exponent represents, how many times a number is multiplied by itself. And then I could rewrite x squared as x times x. So if I'm multiplying all of those x's five times, then I can rewrite that as x to the fifth. And 5 is 3 plus 2. Okay, so let's work through these examples. First thing we're going to do is distribute. I'm going to go through and I'm going to put understood ones. I'm going to put one in front of that x there, and I'm going to put one as that understood exponent. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to through these examples. So now we're going to distribute. I'm going to multiply negative 3x squared times 7x squared. So negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. And x squared times x squared, add the exponents, you get x to the fourth. Do this again, negative 3 x squared times negative 1 x. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. x squared times x, add those exponents, you get x cubed. One more time, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And I don't have anything to multiply x squared by, but I can't leave it off, so I bring it down. I want your answers in standard form. It's already in standard form, and I can't combine those because, remember, you have to have the same exponents on the variables in order to combine. So that's my answer. Number two, I'll put my understood one right there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to distribute negative four a uh, negative five a. Sorry, one more time. Five a squared times negative four a squared is negative twenty a to the fourth because you add the exponents. Five a squared times two a is positive ten a cubed because you add those exponents. And then when I multiply five a squared times negative seven, I get negative thirty five a squared. Nothing to combine. It's already in standard form. So there's my answer. Number three. Understood one there. Understood one there. So I'm going to start distributing. Negative 6d cubed times 3d to the fourth is negative 18d to the seventh. Negative 6d cubed times negative 2d cubed 
Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12 d to the 6th. Distribute again. Negative 6 d cubed times negative 1 d is positive 6 d to the 4th. Then one more time. Negative 6 times 9 is negative 54, and I can't leave off the d cubed. I'm going to bring it down. Nothing to combine, already in standard form. So there's my answer. Number 4. This uh, 2p here is going to get multiplied by the first set of parentheses, and the negative 5 is going to get multiplied by the second set of parentheses. So 2p times negative 4p squared is negative 8p cubed. 2p times 5p is positive 10p squared. Now I'm going to distribute the negative 5. Negative 5 times 2p squared is negative 10p squared. And negative 5 times 20 is negative 100. Now what you should notice is I've got two terms here that have the same variable with the same exponent. These two right here I can combine. When I combine a positive 10 and a negative 10, they cancel because they make 0 and I'm left with negative 8 p cubed minus 100. Example number 5, go through, put all the understood ones I need in there, make sure I didn't forget any, okay, so 3 times 5x squared is 15x squared, 3 times 2x, 6x, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, negative 1x times 7 is negative 7x cubed, Negative 1x times 2x is negative 2x squared. And negative 1x times negative 3 is positive 3x. Now I do have some like terms to combine. And I notice that that's not going to be in order if I just start combining. So I'm going to put it in order as I combine. So I notice that this x cubed is my biggest degree, so I'm going to start with that term, negative 7x cubed. And then I have x squared, so I can combine. 15 of them minus 2 of them is positive 13 of those x squared. And then 6x combined with 3x is 9x, then minus 12. Now it's, everything's combined, and it's in standard form. Uh, there we go. Okay, last one. Okay, it looks confusing because it's T's and Y's. Um, the good thing is, is whenever two different kinds of variables in the same polynomial, you don't have to worry about putting it in any special order. So first I'm going to go through, I'm going to put my understood ones. Okay, now I'm going to distribute. 15 times 10 is 150, and I can multiply t times t to the 5th to give me t to the 6th, and then bring down that y cubed. 15 times 5 is 75, and I can multiply the t times the t and get t squared, y squared. Distribute again, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. This time I can multiply the y's, which gives me y squared, t squared. And then multiply one more time. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And the y's are y cubed. Now I want you to look at the two terms in the middle. The 75 has t squared, y squared. The 2 has y squared, t squared. Those are like terms because the variables, it has the same variables with the same exponents. It doesn't matter the order. So I can put those together. I'm going to bring down 150 t to the 6th y cubed. 75 of those minus 2 of those leaves 73 t squared y squared and then minus 8 y cubed. 
Again, order doesn't matter. So there's the answer.